videos and videos, so I know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm just so used to seeing the font in like lowercase or whatever, and I saw it in caps. I'm like, oh, he's he's fucking changing up some things in there. That's nice. And then I looked at the song and I was like, oh fuck, the whole thing's just fucking caps, caps, cap fuck city. This guy. We're all going to Cap City for the night. Yeah, this song sounds like it was written in caps, so kind of mm, works. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't actually get to the last chord of the first phrase. Which is probably Wait, like I don't know, fourteen, fifteen seconds <laughs> into the song. That's yours, so, Bevo's. That's that your un- voice, mate. The, yeah, I'm second, <laughs> Bevo. It's, it's me yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> we do have a special guest, Stefan here. How are you, mate? Hi, good. Sorry, I'm not Marge. I'm not that like good of a celebrity. No, that's all right. I've um, been on Gardening do Australia though. though? So. Do you do any voices? <laughs> uh. Not that I can think of. Okay. Well, Just that's subconsciously. All right. they, they, you know. <laughs> Stuff you don't think of. <laughs> yeah. I don't even do me that well. <laughs> I haven't recorded myself when I sleep yet. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be interesting. Well, I have, and uh, mm. you come out with some good stuff, so <laughs> well done. Yeah. No, I appreciate you coming to the Dance on Dan's Grave, though. That's good. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this uh, is a bit red hot. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> Holy shit. American history Bev strikes again. Uh, I know. Hey, he's just at it. Oh, bite the gutter. I found a moustache filter <laughs> and I found a very red hot moustache in this uh, collection. Yeah. It's a roulette wheel. Of Someone who was a very naughty one. boy. Someone I'd say who was it's a, a very, very um, boy. Would you say like it's a Charlie Chaplin or a like mm. 1992 Michael Jordan? <laughs> it uh, rhymes with Bitler. Freddie Freddie Fitler. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Kitty Yeah, so what I was fucking here. trying to say is that what, I fucking didn't listen to it because it's fucking shit. Cool. How many times have we heard this fucking thing? Did anyone else sing right, zombie over the top of what? this one? Can <laughs> I can sing any yeah, fucking oh, thing over this. Anything. Mm. What Fuck. chords are they using? Oh, the fucking typical four chord Good. thing. Fucking major chords, minor chords, yeah, excellent, chords. <laughs> excellent chords. Excellent chords. <laughs> Kids chords, adult chords. <laughs> Rip chords. Okay. Uh, well, let's get into the lyrics. Hey, we've got uh, minor chords, major chords in stock. Um, we've actually got uh, bungee chords too. Oh, actually, we might be out of them. Uh, but we do have plenty of stock and incoming stock as well of uh, umbilical chords if you need them. <laughs> Corduroy. <laughs> Corduroy. <laughs> Get an umbilical cord every time you buy some corduroy. <laughs> Two for the price of one, umbilical cords. Maybe not included. I'd like to return this umbilical cord. It had a baby on the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> We're closed. <laughs> Just be lucky that you've got some new life, you know, because some people have lost their valid... Valid? <laughs> Oh, fuck, I'm done. <laughs> Fucking Paul. All right. The Kid Leroy, he, he, straight into the chorus. Uh, let's see. That's good. All right. Like Try not to get too emotional. It's fucking deep shit. You ready? You cut out a piece of me and now I bleed internally. Left here without you. No, no, no. Without you. Oh. And it hurts for me to think about what life could possibly be like without you. No, 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 without you. No, no. Well, first of all, <laughs> um, <clears throat> bleeding internally uh, inside the body, particularly in the chest cavity, stomach cavity, or muscles may be caused by major trauma. Seek emergency help if you bleed from the ear, mouth, nose, anus, or other body opening. Oh, anus bleeding. Uh, yeah. Not good bleeding. Um, what do you do? Can if you, is it got... possible to cut a chunk of yourself off and then not bleed externally? Well, I was just going to say, what if you've got all of the above for the internal plus more? Should you just not worry about it? Does it cancel out? <laughs> I think it must cancel out. Yeah, I don't that's know. Like I, another Miss I, Frizzle situation yeah. where they've gone inside <laughs> in the magic Fucking school bus. Frizzle's at it again. That whingy <laughs> bitch kid. <laughs> Maybe that's the kid that Leroy is kid. that whingy bitch kid from the, the magic school kid. bus. Yeah, the grown, I don't want to go inside. Grown back to full size <laughs> inside the, the kid's oh. body. Pretty sure his name was Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy, don't <laughs> Leroy. Leroy, <Fucking> wet blanket. <laughs> uh, and then he gets here to the second line uh, where he's saying he's left here without you. No, 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 without you. 
it, it makes it sound like he's confused. He's confused as to who he's singing to. It's like left here without it's a you. Guy me. Poor... No, 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 no. Without you, <laughs> should have gone the spec savers. This is like fucking... me. <laughs> <laughs> left here without you. Who me? No, 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 no. Uh, without you. Be. Oh. <laughs> left here without me, meaning you. <laughs> The, the, those and three no, lines. Let's do, it, let's do this again. I'm you're you're you and I'm me. <laughs> I'm me. What if I'm in front of a mirror? Who's who? I am me. <laughs> <laughs> the files are in the computer. <laughs> um, the, the, those three lines are just me in the supermarket where mum. I turn around and mum's gone. I'm like fuck. <laughs> Mum's gone. <laughs> what the fuck do I do now? I'm, like, then you sort of retreat into the corner of the store. You're like, either she'll come to the very corner of the store, or I'll just sit here and hold tight. No one's going to come to get frozen peas for a while, so I'll just sit here without fucking any attention, and then I'll wait. just wait for the PA system. <laughs> attention, on. customers. Uh, Xavier, your mother is waiting for you at the front counter. You're like, yes. Are you, fuck. Are you saying she's noticed? That- when if someone loses a kid, you automatically look for the corners. <laughs> like, okay, it's like four now, of them, really. kids. If you ever get lost, always retreat to a corner. I will search. Mate, if you're not doing that with your kids, then you're fucking failing as a parent. All right, that's all I'm saying. I've never like, told you know, my kids look for a corner. <laughs> Go stand in it. It's like SAS. Check your corners. Check your corners. Check your corners. <laughs> that does. Uh, uh, you saying that did bring me back like a, a flashback of feeling that panic of like <laughs> not being able to find your your mum in the I don't know when you're though. a kid like even if your parents say go to the front counter like I'm too fucking stressed out to even talk to anyone right now <laughs> I've just got to go to a fucking place where I know no one's going to bother me <laughs> a corner a corner <laughs> yeah. and look at the Frozen wall peas. <laughs> facing the wall in the corner at like the end of the Frozen Blair corn. Witch project yeah. <laughs> I love the logic. Well, I don't no know. one's going for the... frozen peas for a while. <laughs> 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 the joke, I think like the joke there is that people fucking are always going for frozen peas and I've just picked the worst thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why are they always going I should have gone to the section where there's like... <laughs> there's gonna be some... Actually, no, it's probably not a good place. The only people that buy beef jerky are the fucking weird old blokes. <laughs> beef jerky. It's like oh, you're definitely going to get molested yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, <laughs> the old touchy aisle. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, first verse. Fuck me. I can't believe that you would up and leave me. Fuck all your reasons. I lost my shit. You know I didn't mean it. Now I see it. You run and repeat it. And I can't take it back. So in the past is where we'll leave it. Huh? <laughs> he got confused again. <laughs> Uh, instead of ha, it's like a uh, like a little snigger, <laughs> like a hucking it up, <laughs> like, like goofy. Yeah. Um, like, where do you think he lost his shit? Like, I'll tell you where. In the I'll, corner I'll of the fucking where. supermarket. <laughs> Bag, Everyone plane. knows that if you've lost something, you go to the corners. <laughs> It's like it's I definitely the last place I you definitely, shit. I definitely <laughs> shit myself, but there's no shit in my pants. So where the fuck <laughs> is it? <laughs> it it came right? out. It went hundred percent came out. <laughs> oh, but I've lost. <laughs> it's like when you go to the like, shit in a bowl I've shit myself. <laughs> I can't find it. Don't worry, little Darius. <laughs> Don't forget, you wore your undies with holes in them, so it's just gone straight through onto the ground. It's always in the last oh. place you look. Have you checked well, under you the couch? It, where did you put it last? <laughs> Darius! <laughs> <laughs> of course anyone called Darius is going to shit themselves in the supermarket. <laughs> Fucking useless Darius. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. He said he didn't mean to lose his shit. Whoever, you know, you don't mean to lose things, do you? Unless he's it's also like running a, um, and repeating it, so he's... You know, that's true, did he, yeah. He didn't mean it, but he's doing it again. What you thing? never make the same mistake twice. No. Just... <laughs> History's <laughs> repeating itself. Uh, <laughs> what sort of thing... Like, is there a thing that you would mean to lose? Like, 
What's something that you would be like, oh, I lost it, but I meant to lose it? <laughs> My bag of Coke when they find out the cops are following me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta lose this. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> Or like uh, your um, like the puppy you got at Christmas that you hate by March. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's got to get lost. <laughs> oh, I got to make sure I put this somewhere. That I definitely won't remember it. Ah, your memory. You can lose your memory. <coughs> you don't want to remember something. Ah, true. You can ah, lose your memory. Traumatic experiences like shitting yourself <laughs> in a <the> supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember being in a corner. That's all I remember. <laughs> I needed to go to the toilet, and when I came to, I was in a corner. Four corners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, um, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, fuck. All right. We're almost out of lyrics. <laughs> I know. The, the, the pre-chorus. So there you go, Oh. Can't make a wife out of a hoe. Oh, I'll never find the words to say I'm sorry, but I'm scared to be alone. This bloke is <laughs> fucked what? up, eh? How's is like this... listening to this song for the first time and then everything's like, oh, this is a pretty like generic by numbers, sappy yeah. love song. And then can't make a wife out of a hoe. And you're like, what? Whoa. Whoa. Red hot there, Kid Leroy, 16 year old Kid Leroy. <laughs> like who's he trying to marry? He's sixteen. You never even met a prostitute. I'm just saying, being sixteen is the best time to meet a hoe. <laughs> How old is this fucking bloke? He's sixteen when he did this. What the fuck is he yeah. on about? Let's. I'm yeah. going to throw this out to Dan Southern, who's not here anymore. May he rest in peace. But um, yeah. maybe he's talking got him about the um, always with us. Utensil. Always with us. Hey, what? Huh? Maybe he's talking about the farming utensil. Like the digging type of hoe, which is true. You can't uh, make a wife out of a, a farm implement, can you? Yeah, you can't. You try I don't know. Thresher. I feel like these days you could, Ryan. It's twenty twenty one, mate. Oh, I'm not judging. It was consensual. If you they, know. if someone was to, um, uh, what what do you have to be? You've got to uh, identify as a farming tool, mm. and then they or have to, say, and then they have to say, okay, you are a hoe. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> oh, I really wanted to be a tractor. If you were this kid's dad, Attracted you'd just be like, her. mate, uh, you're 16. Like, mm. if Go she's... kick a footy or some shit. Yeah, and look, if she put out, fucking high fives all around and move on with your life. Have you not seen right? yeah, pretty I woman? I don't, think there's any, I don't <laughs> think there's any implication that they even had a relationship, eh? I'm very sceptical. This seems yeah. very much like he saw a hot chick across a room once. <laughs> Absolutely. Excuse me, miss. I saw you from oh, across the room. She doesn't like me back. Oh, what a fucking hoe. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the most incel thing I've ever heard. It, oh, my God. I had, it, it's an incel anthem. <laughs> it is. I, I re- it's like he, stress again. He, pretty woman, Richard Gere, fucking Julia yeah. Roberts. Yeah, worked oh, out pretty good it's for old like, Richie. Yeah. To a club. <laughs> Yeah, although George Costanza club, does hit her up at a polo match for sex. <laughs> is that in no, the movie? No one remembers that from Pretty Woman? Mm, yeah. No. George Costanza, well, it's not George That's Costanza, really it's Jason Alexander, <laughs> he plays Richard Gere's mate. And when he finds out ah, that she's yeah. a hooker, they're at he's a fucking mate, pol- isn't he? Yeah, they're at a polo match, and he's just like, all right, so, um, you know, seeing you're a prostitute and all, I'll give you some money if you touch my dick. And she's like, oh, I'm uncomfortable by this. It's like, well, fuck, you're a prostitute. Like, get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Oh, yeah, no comment. <laughs> I'm just, sorry, this isn't the um, <laughs> A Thousand and One Movies that make you want to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's next. Nah, fucking can't, wait, now, all right. can't wait for that, though. <laughs> it's just going to be a solo podcast of me breaking down movies. <laughs> Watching and another I'll tell you what happens in this movie. We start. 15 minutes of me telling you what happens in a movie. Um, okay, a chorus, same shit, post-chorus. Uh, now, this is heavy shit, this <clears> one. It goes, um, uh-oh, whoa, uh-oh, whoa, uh-oh, whoa, uh-oh, whoa, without you, without you, uh-oh, whoa, uh-oh, whoa. Uh-oh, whoa. 
Uh oh, whoa! Without you, without you. Uh oh, like whoa! Trying to carry like a oh, whoa! It sounds like a fucking wiggle <laughs> song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, everyone. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh! Without you, fruit salad. Without you. <laughs> Hot potato. They say fruit salad in every song. <laughs> Red car, fruit salad, hot potato. Yeah, that's a good thing. Stick with to, it. To chugga, chugga, big fruit salad. We're going to fruit salad the whole way home. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. Yummy, yummy. I've got yeah, no, cum I'm, I'm in saying... my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Not familiar with that. <laughs> no, that's the hoe that he wants to marry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm saying like the oh, oh, oh is like um, it's like when you're carrying a tray full of drinks through a crowded bar. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 Has anyone seen like, that bit, that video that's getting around on Instagram with that fucking old, just some heaps old drunk dude trying to carry the beers back to the table? Oh, he just fucks it. <laughs> he just fuck it. But he just keeps confidently he walking keeps along to the table. And he gets to the table and he's just like, ah, fuck <laughs> ah, fuck I tried. It. Fuck you, boys. <laughs> It's Next like, round's on you. It's got like eight beers on it. <laughs> Loot unit. Fuck. All right. Um, the bridge. Uh, it's gone be hard here on my own, and even harder to let you go. I really wish that we could have got this right. Jesus Christ! Yeah, the mate. grammar in this is really fucking <laughs> overwhelmingly terrible. It's gonna be hard here, on my own. <laughs> you know what's gonna be hard here on my own, and even is harder to let you go. The eighteen seventies prospector. Mm. <laughs> you know, I wish that we <laughs> could have got this right. The gust and gold in them mountains. Because <laughs> uh, be hard this... in them there. <laughs> Ain't got no hole no more. Lost it. <laughs> The hills. Just like my nugget that I found last week. It's gonna be hard here on my own. And even harder to let you go. Because this guy, this this kid Leroy, he's like a rapper, right? He's supposed to be a rapper. Is he? Oh, well, that's that's I what I, I haven't heard. It, oh, honestly, I... this is like this is it. This is all. This is everything I've yeah. got. I know about Kid Leroy is what I've yeah. heard. Australian, like yeah? yesterday. Yeah, Australian. Is he Australian? But, but, yeah, he's he is. To be, he's yep. Australian, but this oh, is um, <laughs> what a fuck with. It's just an acoustic guitar and him <laughs> yeah. like auto tune singing over the top of it. Like and this I, is and what I feel. We've all four of us have done this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> together <laughs> to yeah. different levels of success, I would admit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy seems well, nailed it. I don't know. Like he's yeah, like he's writing it as though he's going to wrap it, but it's like they got in the studio and he's like. Hey, how about you sing it? Yeah. Like, it's going he's to like, be oh, hard. He's oh like, I can't sing? No, don't he's worry like, about yeah, that. actually, I can't <laughs> sing. <laughs> like, oh, don't worry about that. No we'll one can. Miley that... Cyrus on this later. Don't worry. It's, a, <laughs> yeah. it's all good. I, oh, I listened to the Miley Cyrus one, and she's fucking butchered it. Uh, like, she sounds like more of a man than him. It's like she's doing all the man bits. <laughs> Must be yeah, I kind of appre- I really appreciate her voice. Um, but it doesn't. It doesn't sound right. No, fuck. It's <laughs> very strange. Yeah, very strange. Um, on this on this line here, like, could have got this right. The way he sings that, or the way it's auto tuned. I don't know. It's. It, I don't think you can sing that properly, like in real life. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how many wrong notes can you hit when you do this line? <laughs> I, swear a bit, I swear there's a bit at the start where it's like a very clear edit. Like one <laughs> one end of one word gets cut off, so the other one can start. It's it's weird. Oh, it was just like, like clean gone... cut. Yeah, just hit just that like bar TAFE... and went erase. <laughs> like my TAFE project, where I had to make like a clean audio out of someone making fuck ups in a speech. <laughs> oh, Jesus, a um, cat carrier. That was it. They call it a cat carrier, but we know what it <laughs> what what it really is. And you had to make that clean and sound like a proper <laughs> sentence. Oh, it's a fuck. prison. What Sorry, are they trying to do to you? Dave, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's he on occasion. about? Again, this kid, he just needs to move the fuck on. Like, he's a little kid. He doesn't even, he needs, to, he needs to have never hoes. even put himself into this position in the first nah. place. No. Nah. Mm. Nah. Oh. He should be playing with bloody yo-yos and paper airplanes or whatever 16-year-old kids do. Yo-yos these are days. back, actually, I found out. <laughs> in pog form. Well, that's what happens. They go down and then they fucking come back up. That's the point, mate. 
That's it. Yeah, <laughs> the- <laughs> Self-fulfilling prophecy. You just need to get a yo-yo squad out to a school and they'll have them. Are know. there yo-yo squads? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we could we could Look, do it. If ourselves. they got Kevin Rudd to go to a fucking whole bunch of primary schools and play handball, they can easily get a fucking yo-yo yeah. club going. <laughs> Wait. What do you mean Kevin Maybe. Rudd went to primary schools and played handball? What are you talking about? What? Kevin Rudd did yeah. an Australian tour around primary schools and played handball. And that was his thing. Like, he's, got he... his own, he's got his own names for he's all really his moves. Oh, yeah. Get fucked, really? He's a yeah. really good handball he, player. <laughs> does he um get ruthless with him? Because he's yeah. a fucking knows. animal. Like, yeah. I can't imagine he would let the kids win. You know those fucking shots where like it goes two ways. You either do like a heaps good fucking slog of one, and yeah. everyone is like, "That was a hundred percent a rolly," and you're like, "No, nah, yeah, yeah, fucking hundred yeah. percent wasn't." No, nah. nah. he's that guy. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did he like um? Yeah. Kevin 07, kids none. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I bet he does heaps of those. Like you know the ones where you let the ball go heaps far past you, and then you like fucking slap it back. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those ones. Well, someone fuck, just moves. Someone moves in his peripherals, and he's like into, and you're like fuck off. Didn't even oh. come to the court. He's like nah, into. <laughs> For those American <laughs> listeners, handball is a uh, popular childhood sport. Is a type of orgy in Australia, <laughs> yeah, in which the prime minister is always the centerpiece. <laughs> the prime minister goes to primary schools and has orgies. <laughs> it's a yo-yo without the string. Look it up. Tennis ball. Look it up. <laughs> or a tenno. Um, oh, that's correct. <laughs> a tenno. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's it. He repeats the same shit over and over again <laughs> until the end of the song. Now, Good. is that right? That yep. looks right. Yeah, uh, okay. basically. Yeah, cool. Um, so it was written by sixteen-year-old Charlton Kenneth Jeffrey S- Howard. Sixteen-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just Fuck. give you a quick, quick travel on this sixteen-year-old for fucking sixteen years and bloody sick of it? Old Town Road. Just let me give you a quick quote I found on Genius dot com. This is from Kid Leroy himself, the Kid Leroy. I'll have you know. Oh. Without you is my favorite song. Because I just like it. I don't know. It's kind of, dude, I don't know. It's a little different. It's like a little uh, acoustic vibe. Uh, I just like it. Yeah. Fuck. What the hey. fuck? One, mate. So a lot, a lot of thought. And that someone, put that, someone put that down as a quote. Like, <laughs> we spoke to Kid Leroy, and this is what he had to say about uh, his song, uh, Without uh, You. Uh, it's almost like he went into the studio. Acoustic and not good, like it, good acoustic. Where that gold at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dag nang it. Prospectors. <laughs> it's almost like he went into the studio and then saw a guitar on the wall and he was like, what the fuck's that? And then yeah. someone picked it up and started playing. He's like, fuck that. Let's use that. We should fully use that. <laughs> yes. And, that and then only. left the studio and he was like, fuck, I can't believe I just discovered this thing. Like it's never been a thing before. Dad, dad, <laughs> you wouldn't believe what I heard. <laughs> It's called an acoustic. <laughs> acoustic. <laughs> he had a capo these, on it. It was really cool. these notes. They were all together at once, and there were four of them. <laughs> <laughs> he played more than one. Would you yeah. fucking believe it? Like a fucking magician. Can you uh, call up Pauls and see if they've got any acoustics? <laughs> <laughs> reckon they sell them at Kmart? <laughs> Good ones. Adult ones, children ones, <laughs> excellent. excellent ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's a written. Sorry, guys, are actually out of stock. So, sixteen-year-old <laughs> Charlton Kenneth Jeffrey Howard. Uh, it's also it's kind of John. Four first names. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of first names. Um, Billy Walsh, who <laughs> at first I'm like, why the fuck do I know that name? And all I was thinking was was um, the character out of Entourage. Did anyone watch Entourage? There's no. a crazy director in it called Billy Walsh. Anyway, it's not him. Billy Walsh is basically Post Malone's co-songwriter. Uh, he writes oh, everything yeah. with Post Malone. Um, and it's Blake Slatkin, uh, who is like a producer and songwriter for like 24K Golden, Juice World, uh, And then Omar Fetty, who is an Israeli guitarist, songwriter and producer from Tel Aviv. He shreds. Mm. Does he? Oh, well, in this track. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> going real track, hard. I, I would assume any other. Mm. He was. Uh, he also co-wrote uh, that, you know, Mood, Mood by 24 Golden. Um, Why you always Golden in the mood. Like the radio fucking station around where like they a play brand fucking new. Air supply. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Fucking great song. 
Um, Sounds like I assume really that's him it. playing guitar on it. Uh, so in December 2020, this song started trending on TikTok with videos being set to the lyrics, and that is where it took off. That's took off thing. on the TikTok. Yeah. Your song ain't young getting and... shit unless you're on TikTok. Yeah. Um, so old mate, the kid Leroy, born in Waterloo, Sydney. Uh, hmm. He basically just became mates with Juice World. Um, that's not a franchise of juice shops. It's a rapper. Apparently, it's a rapper, and then he fucking died, didn't he? He's dead. Is and he, um, fucking uh, hilarious why? story how he died. Does anyone know? Ate too, uh, drank too much orange juice. <laughs> no, it's fucking great though. How's this? I looked into it because I'm like Juice World, and I'm like they're all. Banging on about oh, on the YouTube comments. Oh, fucking, he's carrying Juice World's legacy. I'm like, Juice World? Like, I don't know who the fuck Juice World is. Okay, I'm look up this Juice World character. Then it's like, death. That's always a good way to go. Let's see if it was interesting. It fucking is. Uh, Juice World. <laughs> <laughs> he basically was just a mad drug fiend. So just loved a bit of everything. Whatever he could get. All in Bible. one. We'll take the lot. Um, He's on the juice. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, juicing. juicing. Uh, he <laughs> he was on a private jet flying, I think, to like Atlanta or something. And they found out that like the DEA and stuff were all waiting for the jet to land to bust him. Um, so uh, he ingested every drug on the plane so that there was no evidence of it when he landed and died. Oh, <laughs> Holy oh, wow. fucking Juice shit. World. <laughs> oh, juicy fuck. Too much. Yeah. That's hectic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but apparently Juicy had, had toured Australia twice in uh, uh, like 2019 and 2020 uh, and mentored the Kid Leroy while he was in Australia. So Kid Leroy went on tour with him while he was here, and um, he was mentored his, him. His mentor in like so. This is so you put the belt around yeah. your forearm. Yeah. So and what you do is you the needle inject, goes into your vein. Yeah. You want to inject a little bit between your toes. Inject a little bit into your your elbow Nose. groove. <laughs> <laughs> you want to mix goes. it around. You can't overdose if it goes into different spots. Where's um, your spoon one draw? Word kid. Yeah, one word, kid. Spoons. <laughs> spoons. Spoons and lighters. That's the key. Um, Have you got any so, James Taylor records? Apparently, uh, Howard's great-great-grandfather was part of the stolen generation. He was taken from his family and placed into a white family. He was told that he was Spanish because of his dark complexion. Uh, his great-great-grandfather later found out that he was Aboriginal when he was 18 years old. His whole life, he had no, he thought he was Spanish. Wow. Uh, and found out that he was actually Aboriginal when he was 18. And he is of the uh, Camilleroy uh, mob from which he derived the artist name Leroy. Wow. That's kind of cool. Fun facts. Better than Charlton Kenneth Jeffrey Howard, Fuck I guess. Fuck oath it is. Mm. <laughs> How's this? I looked up this current, because apparently um, the kids these days, they don't release albums. They release... Mixtapes. Mm. Uh, his current mixtape has over 31 different producers credited on it. <laughs> Busy. And imagine you're a not group getting chat a... with 31 people in it. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine how much money is being shared around off that mixtape? Well, this is what you were saying before about the streaming. Oh, well, it, it really does. Like, we'll, we'll get to net worth, but. It really makes you go, like, this guy is one of the biggest fucking songs in the world, one of the biggest yeah, well, albums in the world. And he's on Saturday Night Live. Like, the guy's doing everything that you would think at your peak you would be doing. But there's no such thing as album sales now. And yeah. he can't tour because there's a fucking global pandemic. Mm. So without you, <laughs> since he got, since he got, Spotify, since he got famous, yeah. Since he got famous, he can't tour. Listens. Fuck yes. Hell. Mm-hmm. So, so much, but hasn't been at a tour, hasn't been at a play gigs and yeah, fuck, like, we'll get to it. It's surprising. Get down to fucking uh, one bar of bowl and play. The may dog. shock you. Yeah. <laughs> Up next. <laughs> uh, After this message. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Hit it, Paul. Get fucked. Go. <laughs> give me a quick, uh, give me a quick ad, Paul. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, just uh, Paul's from Paul's parts here. Um, what we're doing for this week only is um, closing. <laughs> Thank you. Showers. <laughs> Yeah, Looks like it's going to rain today. There's a percent, there's a two percent chance of rain, which is too too many. So we're going to close because the <laughs> warehouse actually has no roof. So <laughs> I had to shell the roof. Kind of double rain. <laughs> I had to sell it to fund my dog's cremation. <laughs> Even then, I only got to cremate half of them. So. <laughs> which half? I froze the other half to do it later. <laughs> <I'm sacked up. laughs> Save it for my week's lunches. Jack, why are you so delicious? <laughs> Crying to eat a sandwich. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dead dogs are funny. All right. Um, uh, so I looked, mind, at, the, I looked at the <laughs> the production credits. Uh, for some reason, on this song, if you had to guess how many engineers did it take to get this song sounding like it does... What? None. One acoustic it's, guitar it's, and vocal. It's an acoustic guitar and vocal. Okay. So if I were to tell you seven, would you think that's too many? <laughs> it's too many. <laughs> yeah. Too many. <laughs> I could have what done would, this with Garage Band. What, are, what were they doing? There There's seven are... different engineers that worked Every on Every drug that. on the plane. <laughs> I did some in. I, I was. I had a listen, and there's definitely some. There's some layers. Like what? buried deep yeah, down two there. Layers. <laughs> Guitar. <laughs> layers. There's there's some stuff going on underneath those layers, which yeah, have been really laying, cool. The to other hear guy it. was standing up doing the engineer. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. One of the producers was like, nah, fuck that. One guy's fucking auto, like on the auto tune, but like it manually, real time. <laughs> <laughs> Turning the knob. Real, like real time, just... like literally on a reel, just Spinning it, <laughs> cranking it. The amount of things that are on yeah. this track, which is like nothing, the amount of like jobs to do, it would have been like one engineer to pan one of the guitars on the right. Yeah, I don't I really, like, oh, I got that I, one, mate. I really <laughs> can't, even even with what Steph is saying about there being layers, I still can't understand what no. seven engineers did when it took one engineer to do Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Ah, oh. yeah. Sad I missed that one actually. I'm sorry. Sorry to be absent, but I would have given it a minus. Baby! <laughs> Baby! I can pay you two kids from my brother. Ooh. There you go, Bevo. You got your. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I took one engineer to do that and wow, seven to the do best this. Batman movie. Batman Forever. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm. Um. Now, yeah. is there a video for this, Bevo? Sure is, mate. Get fucked. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that must be where the budget went. So tell me about it then. I'm going to tell you real quick because my battery is about to die on my phone. Um, well, Dan Southern's not here anymore. May he rest mm. in shit. Yeah. But abandoning us. Um, Those so... prolapsed anuses are just, they're a real I hope killer. he fucking rests in the shit that comes out of his mouth, to be honest. Yeah. <sighs> Um, yep. who's going to hit it for me? Yeah, Zav. Oh, hit it. Zav, right, Zav, hit, yeah, hit it. He's got the button now. <laughs> he posted it to him. All right, here we go. Hit it. Hit yeah. it, Zav. Here we go. Here's the video facts from A to Z, and they're coming at you straight from Ryan B. It's a terrible song, and I know you agree. It's a music video summary. With Beth. <laughs> <laughs> like a title fight. Becomes, um, 100% uh, put a chip in my wine glass. To win fuck, that. that's your only wine glass. <laughs> the only one. Oh, well, reliable. It was the last one in stock at Paul's, actually. Can I Can I sample that? It's done. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The kid, Leroy. Sounds like a we do actually game. sell samples at Paul's um, if you want them. <laughs> they are forty nine ninety five per sample. We have none, though, so... <laughs> a long back order yeah. and then for if you if you like the sample and you want the real thing you forget about it you have to actually tell me what sample you want and then i'll go into the back room and sample it right there and then tell you what i think 
<laughs> right, here we go. Um, all right, the Kid Leroy. The video depicts young Master Leroy singing in some desolate, snowy landscapes that harken back to the film The Revenant. <laughs> Only instead of an Oscar-winning performance by Leonardo DiCaprio, we get budget Nick Carter. And instead of a graphic <laughs> bear mauling, we are left with Mr. Leroy's face smushed in a cake. <laughs> What the fuck? I should have watched that... this video. Yeah, I haven't either. <laughs> Someone's in the shower, I think. Uh, no. So He's in the snow. There is sh- He's in the snow a lot. There's, shower, there's a, girl there's in a the shower, shower involved. Yeah. Is that the hoe that he wants to marry? Yeah, this is apparent. Oh, yes, she is. Yeah, no, sorry. Okay. Looks like a lovely really Catholic just... girl. I don't know what you're talking about. She comes out of the shower wearing full makeup, so I don't know. She's magic. Oh, that's a hoe <laughs> thing. She's magic. Yeah. <laughs> She's not a hoe, Cla- she's magic. Waterproof. Classic. Classic hoe move. <laughs> yeah. In, yeah. in the meantime, he's got in his snowmobile and driven out to the <laughs> Fucked <laughs> off. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm going to have a fire out in the wilderness. <laughs> in my designer hoodie. Um, it's got some Star Wars things going on there out in the snow. Is it good? Is it good? Is it a good video? Well, it's, no. It, it leads no. I think it is because no. at, the start, at the start, it's like. Directed by. This oh, person. good, epic! Oh, it's fuck. like the Madison Beer um, video that tried to be really artistic. Yeah, it's but it just turned out it was about sixteen just... seconds into the video. Directed oh. by Steve Cannon, and there's just shots of him. <laughs> Is it just a snow. giant cannon? Like, <laughs> that is a great name. <laughs> is it just shot on a fucking Canon twenty D or whatever it is? <laughs> yeah, also, I love how you use the word. I love how you use the word desolate because I could just imagine him with bare grills. Doing that fucking celebrity the thing, the and he's like, the Revenant? "It's absolutely desolate out here." No. And I've got the kid Roy, and he's really <laughs> struggling. Lucky I've got my vitamins. <laughs> Time to drink my own piss. <laughs> I know what you're I'm going to rub myself yes, off and sleep in this camel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't seen it. No. Yeah, oh, dude, I know you're the a Revenant guy. The Revenant. Yeah, it's it's oh, harrowing. Fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, I heard that it's very um, shit. slow and long, and um. Torturous. I have, you know what I did watch though. You got to bear with it. Ah, you hey. fucking hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, he's gone and done it, hasn't he? <laughs> Absolutely fucking brilliant, mate. Well done. <laughs> just paid for his own admission. <laughs> I just watched um the Belco experiment. Have you ever seen this? No. Fucking mm. sick. Heaps good. It's on Stan. If you want to watch it, uh, I'll give you a quick rundown. In stock at stores where uh, here. at Paul's warehouse, um, it's a uh, American office building, but they're all it's in Bogota, Colombia, and jo- they they all get sent into the office building, and they've been they've had traces put in their heads when they join the company, in case they get kidnapped while they're in Colombia. Then all all of a sudden, the whole whole building gets completely barricaded by indestructible steel. And a voice comes over saying, uh, murder two employees in the next half an hour or we start blowing the explosives in your head up. And then wow. after that, then they're like, now murder 30 people in two hours. Bye. <laughs> and it's hectic. It's like the Hunger Games, oh. but with Dw- Dwight Schrute. Yeah, it's great. Um, I anyway. thought my, my old boss tried to get a tracer in my head and said something about <laughs> You know, protect you from do you getting want to, stolen do you from Colombia. You want to move to Colombia? <laughs> where, where did you work? It's like I don't buy that. Subway. He did say he wanted to do it. Uh, Maybe this boost, wasn't a movie. It's a juice, documentary. Yeah. I was skeptical at first, but now I've got it in my head, and things aren't that bad. So. <laughs> Just got to kill two people a month, and yeah, yeah. yeah and it will never explode. <laughs> It's not that bad. I've got a goal. Something about it reacting with the bananas, the potassium of the bananas. You know, that's fine. Just making sure you're still you. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a set list for the Kid Leroy, Bevo? Or has he never um, played a show before? There are two set lists. One has no songs in it. The other one has... <laughs> I like that someone yeah. went on there and went, yeah, I definitely went to a Kid Leroy show. I'm going to go onto this website and mark that. No idea what he played. <laughs> the other one um, has nine songs, but um, "Without You" is not one of them. Great. So let's move on. Move on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Just just back to the video. Like, if oh, you please. do end up watching it, 
um, which you don't have to. But I I find that that miming, his attempt at miming is extremely low effort. He's not putting any effort in. It does not look like he's singing. Is his mouth moving? A little bit. A little bit. Is but it, yeah, that, he's that just trying to marry a hoe, man. Leave him alone. It's he's just... sad about the hoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just can't concentrate when that kind of stuff goes on. Uh, YouTube any, YouTube, any YouTube comments? Yeah, here's one from Just Verb four months ago. He's got a tick, but not a blue tick. So I don't know what that means. A TikTok? <laughs> it's fake. It's not as verified. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Semi-verified. <laughs> Semi-verified. <laughs> Hunch verified. Um, glad to see Leroy blowing up. Did he? In the video? <laughs> no. <laughs> you fucking didn't kill the two last of mates. 17 minutes of the video of him just blowing up balloons. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> just exploded. It's, Steve Cannon's just fucking annihilating him. <laughs> Could you imagine just a video of him standing out in the f- snow fields and just blowing up? Blow, exploding. <laughs> That's a Holy video shit. I want to just blow up. <laughs> That'd be like little Monty Python style. <laughs> yeah. This kid's blowing the fuck up. <laughs> That's great. Um, I noticed a lot of comments talking about, oh, this is this is a tribute to Juice World. Yeah, like, I saw that um, shit as I'm well. pretty like, but if this song is a tribute to Juice World, he's like says fuck all of your reasons and <laughs> can't make a wife out of a hoe. <laughs> You know, like if you listen to half the lyrics, you might think it's like, oh, miss your juice. You know, you're not here anymore. You know, without you, et cetera. But yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. People have not, they've not read into it. No, no, not at all. Was Juice World a hoe? (laughs) Maybe he was. Possibly. (laughs) Yeah. Um, One comment I got um, from someone called Anand R. He says, as a guitarist, I appreciate this song. What the fuck? It has guitar. I guess on it. Is, is it because it's piss easy? Or like... Just that it has guitar. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. It's oh, someone finally, pulls off something guitar. so dumb that it works, and that's in, that's impressive. You know, <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, another uh, one. Yeah. Uh, well, legacy here. The song debuted uh, on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 63. Uh, on the week of the 19th of December 2020, it peaked at number 30. Uh, it's uh, Leroy's most successful single to date. Also amassing over 413 million streams on Spotify. His debut mixtape, Fuck Love, peaked at number one on the Australian Aria charts, making him the youngest Australian solo artist ever to reach the top. It also reached number three on the US Billboard 200. That's pretty fucking crazy. Easy, Bevo. Mm. Jesus. Where'd okay. that go? No, I don't know. The toilet? Out of here. So, um, Fuck Love. Is it <laughs> his it mixtape? Is it is it Fuck Love or is it Fuck Love? Um, is it fuck I like to think of it that it is like. It's one word. Fuck Love. Like, that's what he does. Like, if you want some Leroy, you're going to get fuck love. <laughs> Again, like, you know, he, he never had a relationship with this person. He's like, yeah, I'm going to have some fuck love. It's going to be yeah. good. He fucks loves like, himself what? every night. That's what he's he's trying to fuck mate, someone. Yeah. He's just like, guess what? I love you now. <laughs> he's talking to his mate over coffees and they're like, I think I love her. What is it like love love or like fuck love? <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck love. Lust yeah, yeah, yeah. or love. Yeah. Hey, that's a good album name. <laughs> um... All right, what is the Kid Leroy's net worth as of uh, 2021, Zav? <laughs> Keep it in mind, he's got a number three album on the US Billboard charts. Yeah, I'm sure he does. 413 million streams on Spotify. Sure he does. Miley Cyrus. Yeah, number one Australian uh, ARIA charts. Net worth. Australian dollars, I'm going to go... Fucking the cost of a fucking schooner and a schnitty down at Wombara Bolo. $23. Rip off. My pin number. It's a schooner and a schnitty. That's pretty good. He can only get one. He's got to go home. He's got to yeah. walk because he's got no money. 
What are you? He can only get for? one. He can't even drive because a he doesn't have a license and b if he did have a license he's probably on his L's or P's and he can't even drink so he's <laughs> fucked it there. <laughs> oh, that's true. He's fucked. Yeah, either way. Yeah. yeah. What are yeah, you okay. net worth? Look, I'm I'm new to guessing net worths, but um, I don't know. Let's say give him a couple million. But he did a separate video, as you know, with Miley Cyrus, and um, he like you You're know they were the cuddling. Boob or what? Yeah, well, you know, they're very intimate, you know. It was like, you know, he was, you know, she was all up in his shit. Yeah. Um, I reckon he paid for that. I reckon they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, coming out of his, that. that's coming out of his end for sure. So, I don't know. Let's say 1.5. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice guess there. Uh, Bevo? I'm going to say 4 million. Just as a, like a sort of based okay. on his 400 million. A couple of bullwire properties. All right. What? You can you get a million dollars every time? Like for every million streams, yeah. No, I don't think that. But (laughs) (laughs) you get probably a hundred thousand dollars for every. Um, he's got a net worth of three hundred grand. Oh, yeah. See, not heaps, but not shit. It's not shit, but it's not great, is it? Like, if you, he's famous. He's basically an internationally famous musician. He's the only kid, Leroy. So if you make a fucking millionaire out of a hoe. Fuck Ryan, get your Jesus fucking microphone fucking right. Christ, <laughs> beverage. How long have you been? How long have we been doing this, Ryan? <laughs> Not long enough, mate. I tell you every time to get it right, and then you don't. I had to jump. So to what I'm forced to do you. now is close the warehouse because you've absolutely <laughs> fucked the PA system beyond repair, and we didn't have enough money in the budget to fix it. So now I can't call for Jack, <laughs> and we'll have to close. Paul's, Paul's warehouse will be closing in the next five minutes. So please finalise your purchases and move to the front counter. Thank you for shopping at Paul's Parts Warehouse. Uh, warehouse. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, that is all. Yeah, three three hundred grand's pretty shit net worth mm. for yeah for being that famous. I guess that's all I'm saying. All right, let's rate this shit. Motherfuckers, this is it. Now it's time to rate. Alright. Okay. Um how many hoes um would you make a Could wife you... out of? Can't you make a wife? <laughs> and then Can't just you die. Make a wife out of? <laughs> <laughs> ten is uh ten hoes. Garden hoes. You've you've died you've died of Later every, hose. every sexually transmitted disease known to mankind. And one being that you get to um, you strangle the first hoe to death, so you, you never have to deal with them ever again. Does that mean you uh, have to propose? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you give it out of 10, Bevo? I feel bad for the kid. What? But, um, Leroy. Which one? Kid Leroy. <laughs> Leroy! Yeah, kid Icarus. <laughs> um, it, but fuck, it's a dirty shit crime making a song out of fucking zombie by the cranberries again. Bringing that thing back from the fucking dead. I hate that song. So. I hate it's it too. It's not fucking Zombie by the Cranberries. Like Zombie by the Cranberries uses this, but it's every other fucking song. Oh, uh, so I, I saw heaps of comments saying that it was like this is the exact. Um, they just like took the track from Sean Mendez's uh, inspiration or something like that. Isn't so, that your mate? Yeah. Your mate, Sam? <laughs> Sean Mendez or Sean Mullins or <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Sean the Sheep. Sean the Sheep. Sean the Sheep is a fucking sick cunt. I'll always tell you that much. Sick cunt. He is my mate. Plus the same sheep. Um, I'm going to give this one a 10. I'm going to go. Oh! You're so right! What's going on? But I still feel bad for the kid. Red Hot. Not that bad. He just murdered 10 O's. Okay. Stefan, what are you giving it out of 10, mate? Okay. Well, look, the it's a pop song. Um, the lyrics aren't fantastic, but it's... It's got a guitar in it. It's to be expected. Yeah, it's got a guitar. Um, <laughs> it's it's to be expected guitar. from a 16, 17-year-old. Although there are like three other songwriters, so I don't know how they contributed. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's um, if they did more like with the track... That's bucks. He's got to split the profit. Yeah, and they did 31 more producers track, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like if they actually did something apart from vocals and guitar, maybe I'd be a bit more lenient, but 
it's pretty bad <laughs> and I want to give it something high. I'm going to say nine. Oh, fucking hates it. Hates yeah. It. What's is your it fucking just me problem, or dude? Are you always yeah, waiting? Hurts. Were you always waiting for like one of those like Post Malone style beats to just drop in at some point? Like <laughs> you're always yeah. waiting for a beat to with drop no bass though, does. just the drums and the guitar. Like fucking, yeah. it's, it's really like you get to that game, going. make a wife out of a hoe, and you're like, cool. And then the rest of it's <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I get you. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Speaking truth, brother. <laughs> Nine. All right, Zav. Speak your truth, kid. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, as I said, I only really listened to the first couple of bits because I just knew what was going to happen. I didn't need to hear it. I've heard it without hearing it. So, um, and there's also a band that made a lot of fucking success and money when they were 15, which is just like, when people say, oh, he's only 16, I'm like, eh, fucking Jack- Michael Jackson was pretty young. Like, you know, <laughs> but like, yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm comparing young, yeah. it to like Silverchair. How fucking good were they at 15? Really fucking good. <laughs> this kid gets absolutely nothing from me because he's just fuckwit. So, ten. What is going on? Oh, you did nothing. <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> you stole. You lose. Uh, I like that it got personal there. It's like, the kid's a fuckwit. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just nothing. He's nothing. It's not the song anymore. It's like, it's I mean, him. fair. That him as a person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more Everything... angry at the world for letting this become a thing. The more than I'm world. angry at him, but I am angry at him. So. Um, so Everything that I used to make that a 9 out of 10, you just like debunked to make it a 10. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'd never listened to it either. And uh, it's one of those ones that you always caught the last 15 seconds of it on the radio or something and went like, what the fuck is that? Anyway, mm. so I, I listened to it all the way through for the first time yesterday and um, got stuck in my head a bit. A little, hmm. little bit catchy. I'll give it a three. Oh. Ooh. I'll st- I've said this before, but I'll stress again. Just because something's <laughs> catchy doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> it's a fucking good sign, though. <laughs> you know, if, like, if you had a voice in your head that was like, Brendan, Brendan. <laughs> and it just kept yeah, I think that's... Brendan's good. <laughs> Oh, hey Brendan. Hey mate. How are you? It's uh, it's Paul. Um, you know from Paul's part. Um, yeah. Can you come and? You know how I'm always asking you to kill people. Can you make it me next week? Thanks, mate. <laughs> Don't come to the warehouse though, because I won't be there. It's closed. That's his voice voice message he gets. Yeah. Um, can you do me next week? All right. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Just come swing by the Paul. shop. I won't be there, but um. <laughs> um, all right, good stuff. Everyone get fucked. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Thank you.